Hey everybody and welcome back to I Heart Board Games here live on Twitch. We are here tonight to start another epic campaign that you voted on, Aeon's End Legacy. And that game is designed by Kevin Riley and Nick Little and published by Indie Boards and Cards and Action Phase Game. I am Ronald and with me I have... Joe! Yes, and we have our other friends here. Melissa! And Jesse. Yeah. And we play board games on the internet for your enjoyment. <laughs> and our own enjoyment. And we got new meeples. We got a new meeple <laughs> unlocked. It's a little happy, sh astonishing meeple. <laughs> Astonished face. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Keeping the meeple. Um, so if you've never heard of Aeon's In Legacy, it's the legacy version of Aeon's In. Puppy hey, puppy tutors. <laughs> yes, because we're playing this, everyone needs to make that face. <laughs> Joe's Joe's always making that face. That's, yeah. that's just his <laughs> constant always, like always. persona, basically. <laughs> um, so Aeons and Legacy was a very successful Kickstarter game. We bought it um, retail, however, because it's now available retail, mm -hmm. and it is a multi-chapter campaign legacy style game, which means we will be permanently changing the game as we go on. We'll be writing on the components. I don't know if we'll have to destroy components. I have no idea. Everything from this point on is a spoiler. So if you're interested in playing this game yourself, be warned there are spoilers ahead, basically from this point forward. We should remember to say that every time. Yeah. <laughs> um, chapter one is called The Ordeal. Oh, what an ordeal. This is the package that it came in. Each uh, of the chapters in the box comes in a little envelope like this. Um, we opened it already because it told us to open up as part of the setup. Okay, great, Pumpy Tutors. Great, you can help okay. us if we get anything wrong. <laughs> yes. Good. The, the thing about regular Aeon's End is we've all played that game once. Shall we yeah, play it? Okay, the three of us played Aeon's End one time. Joe's never played before. So um, You played it. I played it once. Oh. I wasn't here the night you guys That's played right. War Eternal. You weren't. Yeah. Ooh. I was doing a show. That's right. But um, I played at Dice Tower Con last year, the regular game. Now, the rules are a little bit different for this version, but I have read through them twice. <laughs> so hopefully, that makes you an expert. Hopefully, we'll be okay. <laughs> we have a great player aid here. And now, I guess it would be a good time to just kind of go over how to play the game. All right. Um, briefly. Mm -hmm. sure. And then we can just start doing it. Um, basically, this is a deck building game. Um, everybody has their own little deck of cards. Mm. It helps that we haven't played Aeon's End much. Good, good, because oh, I don't remember much about it, except that I played this lady right here when I played. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you that much. I know that for a fact. Yeah, I have no clue who I played. So in the game, you have like a five, uh, five card hand and you also have a deck of cards. Now, the different thing about this game is you never shuffle that deck of cards and the cards get discarded in a very particular way. And so whenever you run out of cards, you just flip the deck over and do not shuffle it. That's very important. Y'all gotta be watching me. I'm gonna miss well, it. Well, it's, it's designed where you discard here and your deck here so you can just flip it. Okay. Just like that. Flip it in reverse. We, each game, we will be able to purchase cards Oops, excuse me, from the supply. Now, right now, this is the supply of nine cards that are available to us in the first chapter, which is the ordeal. But that will change as the game goes on. Um, also, this game has a unique uh, attribute, which is the turn order is variable. So this deck right here includes cards for all of us and also two cards for the villain of the game, which in this case is... <laughs> Maelstrom. That is our villain for the first chapter, Maelstrom. So we'll figure like that out in a minute. Or something. That's like a giant like planet with spikes coming off of it. It's pretty scary. I think they look like a Death Star with spikes. Kind of. What a if Death it's only Star like kind of looks what, like a planet? What if it's really yeah. small. It's like this. Big. <laughs> yeah, we don't know how big it is. Um, <laughs> now the game is played Hulk. over a few <laughs> different Hulk. phases. Okay, we have a great player aid here that tells us about them. The first phase is called the casting phase. That's when you cast any spells that you prepped in the previous round. They will be here in your breaches. Mm -hmm. The next in phase your is breaches. your... <laughs> oh yeah, this game. <laughs> 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 
Melissa is a middle school teacher, so <laughs> if you're wondering why she's giggling, that explains it. Get that spell um, all up in your breeches. Next is the main that phase. That wasn't my nose or anything. Okay, I'm good. The main phase consists of all the different kinds of actions in the game, and you can do as many of them as you want in any order that you want. So things you can do is play cards out of your hand, gain new cards from here by spending Aether. That's the, that's the kind of like the money of the game is Aether. Um, you can also focus or open your breaches by spending Aether. So the breaches are here. We have one that's open to begin with. These two can be opened up or focused during the game. If you focus them, you just turn them. It makes them easier and easier to open. You can prep your spells into your breaches. You can resolve effects that say while prepped and you can resolve discard effects that'll be for the enemy and then the last thing you do is draw so you would discard all of your cards that you played in whatever you order you want and then you would draw from the top of your deck until you have back up to five cards now there's a chance you'll still have cards in your hand in this game you are not required to play all the cards in your hand you play however many you want and then you keep the rest until next turn so um, that's really important. And you can't just discard. You can't just say, oh, I want to discard this. No, nope, it doesn't work that like that. You have to use it. Mm. So if it gives you Aether, you've just got some more Aether, whether you wanted it or not. It doesn't hurt you to have extra Aether. There's not like mana burn or anything. Now, if it's the bad guy's turn, he has uh, two phases that he goes through as well. He has a main phase where he resolves all the cards that he has in play. And then he has a draw phase. And he'll be drawing from this deck. Now this deck right here is in a predetermined order. We were advised not to shuffle it. There's also an assist deck that's just off camera here, but that will also come into play and that's in a predetermined order. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. We'll go. We'll basically go through that whenever we get to it. I mean, he might get the first turn. We don't know. These have been shuffled, so we don't really know who will be first. Uh. So other than that, that's pretty much everything we need to know to start. Uh, let's go through the story first um, and just find out what is actually going on in this game. It's in this book somewhere. Oh, here it is. <laughs> on the front. Oh. Yeah, right here. They're literally the first thing that you read. <laughs> Thank oh, you, Puppy thanks. Tutors. Oh, he's a punk. I'm glad to see that. Yeah, because he only has 99 hit points. Oh, <laughs> and he can't ever go above that. So, I mean, that's... That's good to know. Punk. Punk. Yeah. We, we, the, okay, let me, oh, I should explain this. The ways of winning and losing the game. That, that might be important. <laughs> we win the game if we reduce Maelstrom down to zero hit points. <clears throat> or if we manage to make it all the way to the end of his deck and he has no cards in play. If we make it to the end of his deck and he still has cards in play, every turn that we would draw a card, he just unleashes three times instead. So we have to get, get rid of every single one of his cards in order for that win condition to work. We lose if Gravehold, which is the town we're defending, ever goes down to zero. Or if all four of us become exhausted. Each of us has ten hit points. You lose ten hit points, you're exhausted. But you're still in the game. There's no player elimination. But if you lose, like, it, it basically is really bad to be bad. So you don't want to do that. And if all four of us ever are, we lose. So there's two ways to win, two ways to lose. Interesting. All right. Story. <laughs> Story. <laughs> you are not breach mages yet. Brahma lectures as she paces down the line of students, her frail form belying her immense power. Breach mages have protected us since the beginning, since the burning of the world in our pilgrimage into the dark. It was they who founded Gravehold, our last bastion. And if you wish to stand beside these living legends, you must listen and learn. The Nameless shall come again, as they always have, and you will need to be ready. You are the hope of our future. As a young apprentice, you grew up to stories of the Breach Mages. Brahma, the teacher, wisest of the mages. Dismodia, the prodigy, master of great magic. Mist, the stoic leader and tactical genius. Malastar, the magical craftsman, rebellious, powerful, and reckless, perfectly sum up Zaxos. These mages are your heroes, and tomorrow after your ordeal, you will join their ranks. Each of you must overcome your ordeal to learn discipline and focus, the tools you will need to defend Gravehold. We are nothing without Gravehold. To be a breach mage is to sacrifice your life for Gravehold. When you die, it will be in defense of our city. Once you understand this universal truth, only then will you be ready to become a breach mage. Mm. 
that's her. That's the lady that I was, the wise ah. one. Rama. Right. The story so far. Rama. Malstrom Rama. the punk has 99 hit points. That's Good luck. your story. <laughs> All right. So the next thing it tells us to do is to read the legacy deck. This is the legacy deck right here. Um, we are advised not to read any extra cards in it. We This is not... Well, Jesse, Melissa, and I have played many, many legacy games, but we're welcoming Joe to his first legacy game ever. So, um, very exciting. Do okay. so you want to rip up something now? Yeah. <laughs> so basically, we can't now. look at these cards until it tells us to, or we'll ruin everything. <laughs> Yay, Joe, hey, Joe. for All right, so. He got 99 hit points, and Monsters of Punk, hit him! Here, why don't you read that And one? we begin! Chapter 1, Introduction. On the morning of your ordeal, you awake to, to your barracks door slamming open. Brahma and Mist enter lifting a wounded breech mage, Zaxos, from a stretcher to one of the empty beds. You arrogant fool, Brahma chides. Zaxos chuckles and his injured... Uh, Zaxos clutches his injured side. We need the, the power, he groans. I didn't know. You have doomed us all, Miss Snaps, pressing two fingers against her temple, trying to concentrate. Outside alarm bells ring as an earthquake shakes the very foundation of the building. In the distance, you hear explosion. Miss looks graves. It is here. Zaxo's face white with terror moans. No. Read the back of the card. Brahma and Miss leave Zaxos as they rush to defend Gravehold. It, and you follow, knowing you must do whatever you can to help. You emerge into the chaos. Gravehold is burning and screams fill, fill the air. Above you, a breach swirls, the largest you have ever seen, expelling a colossal orb of blades. Firefall, fireballs pelt the nameless, but it, its minions are plentiful. You can only watch as one mage is torn to, to pieces by a bladed warrior. As the flames push back the, dark, the darkness, you see the bulking form of your foe descending, surrounded by its ruthless army. Brahma staggers away from the fray, coughing and cradling a freshly wounded arm. <laughs> Read the front of LO3. So things are not going so well. So it is colossal. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought it was like a little bouncy ball. A little bouncy ball with plates. <laughs> oh, I'm going to mess up all these people's Let names. Let Jesse read Here, it. you read I'm, I'm No. <laughs> you better pronounce those names. Desmodia and Malastar are holding the line, but we are overwhelmed. You have much to learn, but there is no time to spare. Gather your wits and hold off these creatures however you can. Focus on the minions to protect the breach mages. You must work together. Give them the openings they need and let them focus on the nameless. Each of you are a link in the chain. Do not break. Read Maelstrom's setup instructions. Then fight Maelstrom and save Gravehold. At the end of your game versus Maelstrom, if you won, Read the back of this card. If you lost, read the front of card L04. All right. The chain oh. must not break the chain. No. The we, chain will keep us together. <laughs> we don't know where Maelstrom came from or how it traveled to this place, but it was drawn in by an experiment conducted by the Breach Mage Zaxos, who was seeking to learn more about the nature of our breaches. We have never before seen a nameless as large or as powerful as this one. Its spinning blades are heavy enough to crush buildings in one blow, and it fights with an army of deadly minions. If it is allowed to reach Gravehold, I fear we are all doomed. <laughs> Place this assist deck without shuffling it next to this mat face down. We've done so. Draw the top card of the Nemesis deck and place it into play. Mm -hmm. So that would be this card right here. It is a Doom Crawler. Mm. It has four hit points and it is a persistent minion who will damage one player, one damage every turn. Thanks, uh -huh. Jesse. And uh, while it's still for alive. Hello. You haven't even started. You're already breaking ground. You can't help it. <laughs> we didn't want to. Let's put it down here. Okay, so now that's one of those little creatures that we can use our little damage oh, blah blah blahs like on. <laughs> what does? Like, like his that... little bow. Oh, oh yeah, it does look like his little bow. He got a bow tie on. <laughs> he got a bow tie. He got a bow tie. 
Thanks, so, Zaxos. <laughs> Jesse J, thanks for that host. I don't know if you can hear us yet. He usually doesn't like arrive until a few minutes after. So those are those kind of creatures where we can use our little shards and things or like damage, deal to damage. Like we yeah, when you do damage, you can decide to either do damage to Gravehole. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Not no, Gravehole. No, don't, don't hurt Gravehole. To Maelstrom or to one of his minions. And the minions are important to get rid of because if we get through all the cards and they're all gone, that's a way of winning. Well, first of all, he has a persistent ability, which is he's going to damage a player one hit point every single round that he's still alive. So if we leave him alive, he will just keep Hitting us. hitting us. Keep hitting us and keep hitting us. The chances of us winning by depleting this entire deck, I mean, I talked to some other people who played Aeons in a lot, and they said that that never happens. <laughs> you have to defeat the enemy to win. Okay. And 99 hit points, huh? That's how we won when I played at Dice Tower. We actually won by that way, mm -hmm. depleting the whole deck. They didn't even remember that you could. Remember, Brahma, Brahma said focus on the minions. Yeah, that's so I'm right. like, I'm, that's okay. what I'm that. All right. I was like, I'm gonna kill these minions. We're getting through this, these cards. We're we're gonna get through so those cards. So I think cards. we're ready to start. All right. Well, we gotta see who Do goes it. first. Let's see whose turn it is. Maelstrom. Nemesis. <laughs> ah, I called it. That means the bad guy. Maelstrom. Oh yeah, yeah. Maelstrom's taking so, it. He's a punk. He's a punk. He's taking first, first turn. First, we resolve the effect punk's of each turn. of his power cards and any persistent effect. So he doesn't have any power cards out right now. But he does have a persist a persistent doom cook. crawler here. He is gonna damage any player one damage. Who wants to take one damage? We're all the same at this point. We're all the same. All right, Joe's taking one for Joe's the team. Joe's taking his first oh. legacy damage. All right, he's down to nine. Probably two. I told you. All right. So now we're gonna draw one. So that's his entire main phase done. And then. Um, He's gonna draw one card from his deck there. From there? Yep. Okay, so we have three different kinds of cards that can come out of the bad guy's deck. One is an attack card, one is a minion, and one is a power. So we've already seen a minion here. This one is called an attack. The attacks are the only ones that happen immediately. Hmm. So Maelstrom emerges. Gravehold is under siege. As apprentices, you are not prepared, but you must fight. Talk if about not prepared. <laughs> If you are playing with one, two, or three players, discard the top four, four, or two cards of the Nemesis deck respectively. Place this card in the Nemesis discard pile, then draw a new Nemesis card. But we're playing so, with four. since we're playing with four people, we have to handle all of these cards. We, if we had fewer people, we would be able to discard some of those cards. Oh, make it a little easier. So, Joe, give us a new card, please. Hmm. A power card. Power. So now we've seen all three of the types of cards. Oh, okay. A power card just comes into play. The order of the cards is very important as they will activate in the order that they came out. Mm -hmm. So this was first, it will go first, then this one, etc., etc., etc. What happened? That purple card just done? It's in the discard pile now. So it's it's out of play for all okay. intents and purposes. Um, so in order to get rid of these raining daggers, somebody daggers. on their turn needs to spend for Aether. Now, this has two power, so we're going to go ahead and take two power tokens. Two power We can actually oh, take that whole things. container. Just give me the whole container, because we're only going to need it over here. And put them on here, just like that. Every time he has a turn, we're going to take one of those off. It's like a ticking bomb. Yeah. If it ever gets to his turn and there aren't any on there, it's going to pop, and it's going to say any player suffers four damage. Mm -hmm. So that's how that works. Um, mm. So it would behoove us to get rid of it before he has another turn. Okay. Well, before he has two more turns. Oh boy. Oh boy. But this is not going to be resolved right now. So. This monster, he really is a punk. Pumpy so how many of these cards right. are resolved in a four player? Mm -hmm. What were we talking? Mm -hmm. That purple card did something? It only mattered in a lower number of players. Oh, we would okay. have discarded some of the cards and not have to face them. Gotcha, gotcha. But gotcha. with this number of players, we have to face them all. Okay. So then we the carry discard on, can right? actually like, be off face screen. Face okay. face okay. face we'll just face. make like a chain here. Sure. Okay, so let's see who's next. Oh. Jesse or me. Oh, so we have not named our characters yet. Um, if you guys have suggestions as to what our name should be, 
let us know. Uh, Melissa and I are both playing females, mm -hmm. and Joe and Jesse are playing males. So if you have suggestions, I'm playing the yellow one here, Joe's the green, Melissa's the blue, and Jesse's the red. Let us know in the chat. We may or may not use them at our discussion. <laughs> um, you can go first. Okay, so since I'm going first, this is either one of us can take a turn. I'm going to take this and put this on my player board. And what this means is when we get to the next one of these cards, we'll know I already went, and it'll be Jesse's turn. Okay, so first is my casting phase. I don't have any spells that can be cast, so I can just skip that. Now I can move on to my main phase. Would you guys like me to go ahead and get rid of that dag raining daggers? Or should I focus on getting better cards? What do you have to spend? Four aether. We uh, all have four aether in our hand four. right now. I think to get rid of the daggers, only because it's going to pop four damage more than the, the other thing. It's also not going to happen. The only thing is only one damage at a time. Trigger. Unless you uh, have but something But I guess you can't get rid of the other guy, really. So. No, but I can hit him. And if all four of us hit him, he'll be dead. Fair. So the other thing you can use your ether for? Yeah, a bunch of things. One, I could buy cards. Mm -hmm. So I have four aether. Everybody has the same starting hand, so it's it's obvious. I could buy one of these branching radites or an ancient cyanolith. Or I could buy this incinerating fist or warping haze. Or this fire chakram, even. Or oh. this person. Yep, I could do that too. That helps you focus other people's breaches. Um, it even has your picture on it. This has your picture. This has Jesse's picture. This has Joe's picture. My picture is not on any of these cards. Cool. <laughs> Rude. Good. Um, well, let's see who's Wait, not expected true? to make it through now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and just make an executive decision. I'm going to spend go. my four crystals that I have here to discard this raining daggers. I like it. So this will go into the discard pile, and those will go back into the little pile. All right. Pile. 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 I sound mm. the most southern when I say an, a long I sound, like sprite, night, pile. Mm. Pa. 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 And then I'm going to also, <laughs> um, I have a spell here, which is spark. I'm going to prep my spell by putting it here in my open breach. Now, I could put it in one of the closed breaches, but if I do that, it means on my next turn, I must cast it. Even if there's not no target to hit with it. Mm. This one, I, if I put it here, I have more control over it. Mm. So, now that's the end of my main phase. I can't do anything else, so I'm going to move on to my draw phase. This is when I put all of my cards in discard pile in the order I want. You also need to focus a closed breach before you can prep into it. That's right. That's right. Wait, why did you just take that out of there? You don't just oh, like that? shoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was confused. Oh, no, was like, <laughs> yeah, it's prepped. It's prepped. It's prepped. Oh. These are going in the discard pile. Sorry. <laughs> and then I'm going to draw five cards, which I happen to know is exactly all of my deck. All right, let's see who goes next. Oh, now you get to go. Yep. Mm, yes, I do. Gee, I wonder what you have in your hand. Well, I have some cards here. I think I'm going to focus on the future and uh, start buying some cards up. Because that's what everyone's going to do. I will take that incinerating fist. It has a picture of someone wearing very similar armor to me. I also don't know if I mentioned this. This is a co-op game. We're yes. all playing on the same team. <laughs> and I'm going to... That goes right into your discard pile. That this goes bought. into my discard pile. Yes, yeah, so the discard pile is on this side, and your oh, draw right, pile right. is on this side. Oh, uh, we're going to be adjusting for camera a little bit. I mean, right now it doesn't really matter because we haven't put any stickers on. So I guess that's fine. These were used. Which one goes first? No, no, no. Those don't get discarded right now. Okay. You're still in your main phase. So anything else you want to do in your main phase? So you did a focus on a breach. Mm -mm. No, what'd you I do? I prepped a spell into an open breach. Prepped a spell. Then let's do that because you did it. Great. Sounds good. Put that there. Anything else for main no, phase? I'm done. Now you choose what order you want those to go in your discard pile. Ah. Uh, so the one you bought it immediately goes into your discard. Mm, really? This one will go here. Really? No wait, no, it doesn't. Alright, let's see who's next. Joe, do you think that's okay? And you're gonna yeah, draw yeah. you're gonna draw up five cards. Drawing five right. cards. Joe or Melissa, who's going? 
Joe can go. Okay. Gee, I wonder what cards you have in hand. <laughs> Not many questions at that point. I will... Um, hmm. I'll buy one of the sphere things. Uh, the blue one? The blue one, yeah. yeah. For Blue three. Spray, and you put directly and discard. Okay. And I'll prep a spell and I'll keep a card. So you put the other crystals. If he's done with his main phase? Yes. Yeah, so I've done two things. Okay. And I'll put these over here. Yep, and you'll just draw back up to five. My turn. I'm going to spend these here three crystals mm -hmm. to grab this one. A warping haze. Goes here. Yes, Pump Tutors is technically correct. I'm gonna you put can this here. Discard Aether cards, yeah, which are the, the gem card. cards. By just playing it to get Aether, you don't spend. Right. You're not required to spend it. That's the only card you can really do that with because the relics and the spells, you can't just discard them. You have to actually use them. Okay. So, for example, Done. that says deal three damage. You must deal three damage to something. Or... You must cast that. You must prep that spell. Right. And okay, then, whenever example, it comes time to cast it, you're gonna have to cast it and deal damage to something. Okay. Um... You must do all of the things you can do on the on the card. And if there's two options, and one is something you can do and one is something you can't do, you must do the one you can do. I think it's the baddie's turn again. Nemesis, I'm so surprised. <laughs> <laughs> so first we'll go through his cards, oldest to newest. Starting here with the Doomcrawler, any player suffers one damage. That pump. <gasps> Who wants to take one damage this time? Not Joe. me. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll take it. I'll okay. take one for the team. And he has no more cards to resolve, so now we'll draw one card. That punk! Mm-hmm. <gasps> minion card? Another bad yep. guy! Another minion. So this is gonna go right here. It's an eye grinder, and it has three hit points. Can you give me some blood? No, I need two points. Those. Right. Some blood drops. Further down. Find your way. Technically, like, never need more than just one of these because you will never have more than 10. Yeah. It's impossible. Um, impossible. <clears throat> so, the eye hey, grinder. Hey, Spiral Yummy. It is all muted, and the bottom half of the screen is covered, so I can only see your two windows. Please wave hello. <laughs> 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 there we go. <laughs> I'm, I love if, like, um, what's the other's name? Thank uh, you. Quaxenberg. <laughs> the other person in Sliver's household? Spracknell. Spracknell. If Spracknell also Sliver came hearts. in, he's like, wait, what are you doing here? Wait, what are you doing here? Yeah, you're wait, supposed to be. Show our hearts. Hurt. Show our hearts. <laughs> I switched it to this view, so you can't quite see what's going on. Because okay. honestly, hey, it, just, beard, how's it just going? looks like the other game at this point. <laughs> yep, yep. But you can't hear that anyway, so it doesn't matter. And technically, everything in the first game is not really very spoilery. I mean, right. That we haven't spoiled anything. Okay, that goes for most. <laughs> I'll keep in channel and check in in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Silly. Okay, so the grinder comes out. You remain muted. <laughs> Since it's a minion card, it doesn't do anything because it doesn't say immediately. But this minion is going to cause any player two damage. <gasps> It only has three hit points. Mm. So we've come to the end of our <laughs> turn order deck. Let's talk more about that spiral ham. No. <laughs> National Glaze Spiral Ham Day. Yeah. It's important that you say glazed, you know? That's big glaze. Glaze Spiral Ham Day. Not gonna be till what, November, really. Why is it like now? I guess 
close to Easter. Some people have Easter ham. Yeah, Easter hams. They just have regular spiral ham day. <laughs> spiral <laughs> to prep for Easter and Thanksgiving. Anyway. All right. Oh, spiral ham like. Joe or Melissa? Um. I went last time. You go. All right, I'll go. Okay. Mm Was I supposed to pull the token and then try trade it back? No, I've, I'm, I've been taking care of the token. You don't have to worry about it. All right, so I'm in casting phase. You may cast any of your preps uh, yep, you spells. You can cast that spark right now if you want to. I'm casting the spark. Okay. So what are you doing one damage to? On the um, eye Well, grind. we should talk about what we want to. I thought the as a eye team. grinder. Cause yeah, it that's probably deals fine. deals two instead of one. Yeah. Eye grinder. Okay. One damage to eye grinder. That goes directly to here, right? Yep. Eye grinder. Okay. As soon as you cast there. a prep spell, it goes immediately into your discard. And now I have one, two, three, four, five. Um, there's no way. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, because I saved a card last time. <laughs> I'm like, how? Do yeah, you... see, I have one okay. here because I saved right. a card from last yeah. time. Okay. I'm like, wait a minute. Uh, something happened wrong already. Yeah, so I have five crystals. So, so you have I'm... five aether. Oh, yeah. Um, that costs five that you what wanted. Mm-hmm. What does that do? Any player discards a card in hand. If you do, deal four damage. Whoa, I'm getting that's this. Nice. If someone's willing to do it, we, we should I be. I mean, with those <laughs> crystals, yeah. And this goes here. At the end of your turn, yep. Yep, I'm at the end. Okay, great. And Just then to make sure. I draw this one. I flip this over. Do not shuffle it. Yep. Yep, and, then and keep drawing. Two, that is such a three, different thing for a deck builder. <laughs> yeah. Five. But you are putting these of cards course. in the order you want them to come back to you. It's true, but it's just so different. <laughs> and you can be strategic. Oh, I should mention this. At any time, you can look in your discard pile and see what's there and see what order is in, but you cannot rearrange it. You may never, however, look at the order of your deck. Okay. So once you flipped it over, no peeking until Christmas. All right. All right. Next is the Nemesis. Uh, you can put in a closed breach, but that means you have to do it on the casting phase. Okay, so the rules about the closed breach are, in order to prep a spell into a closed breach, you have to have focused or opened it that turn. Okay, so right now, if you want to focus like number two breach, it costs mm-hmm. two Aether to focus it. And that means you flip it. And it gets a little bit easier next time to open. Mm. Okay. Cool. Okay, if you have focused it that turn, you can put a spell in there. But when it comes back around to your turn again, you must cast it. Right. It can't stay in a closed breach. This one can stay here as long as I want. But this one, and it's always the one you can read that's the cost, right? Yeah, the one that's facing you, exactly. Well, I mean, so, could, wait, could you pay four and just completely just flat open? Out yep, open and it, open yeah. it completely up. Or you can make it cheaper and cheaper. It'll be By three to open two, and then yeah. two to open. And you'll just flip it all the way over like this. Yeah. Okay. There's even a card here that lets you focus someone else's breach. All right, um, I'm done. Okay, so the Nemesis is taking its turn. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go through its cards. The Doom Crawler is going to activate first. It deals one damage to any player. I took one last time. I, right, take, already taken I recommend Jesse. One. Just, just keep it. Yeah, just oh, to keep the side. it because right, yeah, you'll only ever need it for yourself. Mm-hmm. And then the Eye Grinder is going to do two damage to someone. So I guess that's me, since I uh, am the only person who hasn't taken any damage yet. It's either you or me. And then it's going to do its draw phase, so. A power. So dis- So to discard this, discard two prepped spells. It has two power. If we let it... What's up, uh, BJ? Hello, board game gumbo. Board game gumbo. How's it going? Indeed. You know what that means? Let the good, good times, times roll. roll. No. It means I have cheese in my pants. <laughs> you uh, need Mag- to grab Therefore, you let the good to times roll. Magrady, hello. <laughs> Magrady. Um, Joe was thinking I'm going to say when yeah, you're like, the, you, got, the breaches. you got cheese in your breeches. The breaches wasn't funny until she started laughing at them, and now they're funny. Just like, just like in grade school. So yeah. it wasn't funny. Got open them breaches. Open now breaches. <laughs> open breaches. This storm of <laughs> knives will do four damage to Gravehold if we let it activate. Somebody uh, better start yeah, discarding some stuff. Who cares about Gravehold? <laughs> we do, Those because if... I think it takes some damage. No, 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 board game gumbo. Les éléments d'en roulé does not mean that. I was trying to get in too big for your breach. <laughs> 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 he 
would be a pug. There'll be a lot of breach. All right, let's see who's pump. next. This is a Blue legacy green. game, by the way. Oh, Magrudy sorry. and uh, to BJ. What did you do with it? Look at that. Just to let you know ahead of time. Yep, there are spoilers, spoilers. in our midst. Spoilers, you can close sweetie. your eyes if you uh, don't want to be spoiled. Yeah, spoiler, sweetie. Until I'll pick up the card. The, the gravity card. node? Yeah. Ooh. All right, a gravity node for you. I'm averting my eyes, so there are no spoilers. I like it. <laughs> it's actually just spoilers for the first game. It's nothing you wouldn't technically like see if you read the rule book. Right, um, right. So that went in when you immediately when you yeah, bought it. Yeah, so these are on the side, and then I'll cast this. Oh no, okay, so... Cast this first. The casting phase technically happens uh, before you get to the main phase, but you okay. never played this game before, so we'll just let you retcon that. Okay. Because it doesn't really make an effect, so but that needs to go that. underneath. Here, casting phase, main phase. Oh, casting phase, main phase. Okay, gotcha. What did you want to do with damage okay. to? Damage this one. Great. I'll take that one. So, the eye grinder is taking one damage. And, um, latest from Apple. So I that was agree. during his uh, casting phase. Then during his main phase, he mm -hmm. bought the gravity node. And do you have anything else for main phase, or are you ready no, to uh, draw phase? So you can discard those and draw back up to five. This one, we'll flip this yeah. over. Yeah, yeah, don't shuffle it. And you're good. Okay. Next is the nemesis again. So first, any player suffers one damage. Who would like to suffer one damage? Not me, I'm lowest. I was gonna take the two. I can put it, um. I just wanted a re visual reminder for myself. If I saw this video, I would know exactly what it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I was gonna take the two for the next eye grinder, so someone could take the one. Joe, you wanna do it? Take how many? Just one. one. New oh, Coimbra one. expansion. What? <laughs> is that released? <laughs> Or is that a special Where's gumbo? I can hear a trash Oh, 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 you know that thing. Yes. Yeah. So yep. two damage to any player, unless I volunteered. I volunteer's tribute. All right. Okay, and then the Storm of Knives, one of these falls off. There's no healing, is there? Yeah, there is. I mean, we don't see any, like. Uh, not in this one. <laughs> yeah. But there, there are ways of healing. Um, I played in the other game. There were ways. Yeah, we had it too, but I mean, I don't see right. any here. Who goes next? Well, actually, now it's the draw phase for the nemesis. The draw phase already? It's got released, but you can pretend him. it's a special <laughs> like, like an egg in your chicken and sausage gumbo. <laughs> there you go. All right, it, the maelstrom does a slice. Let us know how it goes. It or... unleashes. Ah! Whenever you see that keyword unleash. This happens. In this case, Gravehold suffers three damage. Oh, we failed. No, we are so sorry. Just go up here. Yep, yep. All right. <laughs> All right, and that's the end of the Nemesis turn. Next, I heard much me or Jesse crying and bewailing. You go ahead. I'll go first. And lamenting. <laughs> All right. So first up, I'm going to cast the Spark and take care of. Apple's eye grinder. And this goes discard, correct? I don't know if I've ever had Yep, immediately into the discard. In my sausage, chicken sausage. I'm, I mean, I, I like an egg, it's just about anything. <laughs> I just don't think I've ever had it Never in had a gumbo. Never had it in a gumbo, no. All right, casting phase is done. Let's go to the main phase. And let's do... Um, yeah, let's prep this. Hmm. I think we're okay. Let's go and buy a card. I have four little crystals here. I'm gonna buy this to start buying some advanced stuff. Yep. And that ends my turn. Flopping this over. Here. Nice. Drawing five. And drawing five cards. And drawing five. I wonder whose turn is next. It's me. <gasps> it's me. Me. So I have a spell here, so I'll go ahead and, um, hmm. What? I think I'll leave that there. Oh, but this, this might go off before it gets back around to me. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and chance it. I'm going to not cast my spell. I'm going to just keep holding on to that spell. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and um, 
spend all four of my aether mm -hmm. to open this breach right here. Nice. Now you have more spell casting power. And then I'm gonna prep another spark. So I have two prepped spells. And that's going to be the end of my turn, so I'm going to discard these and flip my deck over, which still has only the basic cards in it. If you're curious, <laughs> I haven't bought any upgrades. <laughs> so this guy has a two discard effect of discard two prep spells. Is that why you did that? Yeah. Okay. I mean, because they could be from different people, right? Um, I, mean, I don't think so. No, I mean, how is it two take separate turns, one turn at a time? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I think they would need to be the, the same person. So when do you do that? There's, right turn? here on your main phase, resolve a two discard effect. Oh, and you're doing that? <laughs> oh, it's my main phase right now. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, you, right like, yeah, you, like you flopped your over your you thing skipped already. You your casting phase, and then you did your main phase, and you opened I'm still in my main phase. I thought you skipped it because you flipped spell, everything. So I was like, yeah, I, uh, well, uh, let me retcon that. Sorry, I didn't realize I could just do it right now. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and do that. So I'll discard these two prep spells. <laughs> okay, that makes more sense. Thank you. I'm like, <laughs> I didn't realize I could just do it now. I was thinking I had to wait for my next turn. Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah. To get I was rid of that too. Like, oh, yeah. set it up there. And I was like, well, somebody's we're taking damage over there. Yeah, no, it's, it, it, I mean, it's technically still most my main phase, so nothing <laughs> further could happen. So those go Thanks, into my discard pile. Yep, and then. Ah, oh, nice. Now Can't I'll flip see? this over and draw five cards. Yeah. Could you shuffle these? Don't expect to draw a spark anytime soon. I think I know what these are going to be. <laughs> what does that do? Uh, one. An ally draws two cards. Plus six. You have six? Oh wait, you bought a you bought a little cyan. No, I have, I have five. Choose a card. One through six. One. 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 Two. One. Everyone is wondering what the devil you're doing. <laughs> that's completely off camera. Yeah. Well, you can see the well, little tiny, the tiny camera. camera. Yeah, the tiny camera. You can see <laughs> right here. Ooh, nice. Well, you probably should. I think you know what's you know what's in my hand. <laughs> I'll go first. Go. So let's uh let's spark down this doom guy. Spark him. Okay, well, one for the doom crawler here. Casting a spell. Yeah, and then I'll spend uh three focus to three aether. I mean three aether to focus this and put a spell on it. And but do three damage do the or something. Three instead of the two. What's up? Why'd you do the? Because three I want to get this one two. down. Oh, uh, oh, oh! Like Eventually the cost. I want to get them all. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I want to work on that. I'm gonna hold on to this other card. Is it private or public? I don't even know. It doesn't say anywhere it's in the rules, so, but, but yeah. I'm holding I assume you can card. tell people what it is. Yeah, but. <laughs> It's a it's not it's, it's not an open hand. You don't have your hand. The hand is not open to everyone, but I assume there's no there's no restrictions on talking about it as far as I understand. Right. But that's not Hold on the on table. Like that's that still in your gym. hand. You you're, yeah, you're yeah. I was opposite. just putting it aside. Yeah. Um yeah, and so I think that's I'm probably okay with that. Cuz yeah, we can still damage him. That's fine. Yeah. I'm done. Draw to five. <gasps> the nemesis. Ooh, who's the nemesis? So the doom crawler hits somebody for one damage. I just took two recently. So it needs to be Jesse. I'll take uh, one. This punk again. Nah. Yeah. I know, huh? Punk. I'm tired of this guy. <laughs> and then we're gonna draw a card. Yep. Oh. oh, impale. So first he unleashes three damage to Gravehold, please. Oh lord. Nine twenty-four. See, I don't think we're supposed to win this one. <laughs> That's a lot of life that dude has still. And then an assist. Mist's fury. The battle rages on and the air is filled with ash, clouding your vision. <laughs> Suddenly, Mist whips a lava tendril from the fog, striking the nameless hard enough to crack its outer shell. Shale. 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 <laughs> Mist deals 10 damage to Maelstrom. Ooh, nice. 
Okay. Nice, nice. We got a little help. Very yep. nice. So very I, nice. I'll show what that looks like in the, um, here. That's Mist. She's another, I'm going to assume she's a character from one of the other games. Very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. So she's going to go in the assist discard pile. This is going to go in this discard pile. And, um, yes. So he's down to 89 hit points now. All right, that's, that's manageable. Good. Yeah. <laughs> that's better. That's better. That's better. Yeah, we're getting uh, there. Is there 10 more of those cards in there? Because that would work. <laughs> so that was his draw phase. So that's done. So let's see what's next. Ooh, oh, okay. oh well, the we'll nemesis. Get, get, we'll just get him out of the way. Get just just get him out of the way. Yeah. way. <laughs> one player suffers one damage. I'll do it. I mean this punk again. Yep. <laughs> and now we're going to draw a new card for him. Come on, give us another assistant. Oh. Crust Smasher. Yeah. So he has four crust. damage on him, four hit points. He's like a big beetle looking thing and not John Lennon. Mm. <laughs> on every one of his turns, Gravehold will suffer two damages. Two damages? No. Two damage. Better than, than, than us. What? If it goes down to zero, we lose. <laughs> we have a lot more hit points than we do. All right, we let's see what's next. We won't have a place to live, but we'll, we'll, we'll be alive. That's so. right. There's always somewhere else. Right. Joe's turn, because I went last time first. Okay. All right, I will... Jinnah! It's terrible. Something terrible. We did too. Was I it mean, a spoiler for this our, game? our town Please might don't spoil be this destroyed. Game. All right, I'll buy another one of those spheres. The, the, this? Yeah. That costs three. So that's three there. And number two here, I'll, I'll open it. Oh, don't tell me something Focus about your cruise. Mm -hmm. She's She's been and looking forward to that, that cruise that's supposed to happen in like a matter of days. Put that in there. Well, that's prepping, yeah. Prepping. Okay. We don't, don't, don't nobody bring us no bad news. Okay, and you're gonna draw back up to five. All right, bring this back. A girl I, what... I used to dance with Mom CS. I don't know what any of that means. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, yes, I do want to know about the Coimbra expansion. Yes, I want to know about the Coimbra expansion too. So I don't have any spells. I used all my spells, but I do have five Aether here. So I think I'll spend that to um, get. Get a destruction card. We need some of that. I don't know that gravity new that you picked up last time. It was really good. Four damage. A lot of these guys have been having four hit points. Like, that would just be perfect. I'll take a gravity node. Mm -hmm. And then these are going to go here. And that's the end for me. Cool. So next me. will be Melissa. All right, I'm gonna spend. Oh, wait, I don't have any spells, so casting phase is done. Main phase, I'm gonna spend. Oh, she died. Three. The mother died. Yeah. Oh. Moms are old. By CS. Oh, oh. she had CS. Right. Oh, Which is several uh, palsy. No, that's cystic fibrosis. Oh, oh cystic fibrosis. No. C F C Calamity Stone. Stones. I don't know what C S. Okay, let's all say it at the same time. Carousy. Oh, committing suicide. Oh. Oh, oh. C S. I didn't see we were thinking disease. We were thinking diseases. Like, uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm gonna open a breach. Or I don't I'm not gonna open it, but I'm gonna Focus it. Focus it. So I pay three. Okay. Never heard so that you're focusing this one? Acronym. Yes. Okay. So uh, I do it like this. Well, you could just open the... Yeah. You could open the middle one if you did. Right? No, no. You have to, uh, yeah, always you turn have it the direction of the oh, arrow. Four. So I can do it this way, like this? Yep. You must. Okay, so I use this three. Those are not in your discard pile yet. They're just out on the table. Okay. Board games and help you get away from, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. Where you're... I'm going to focus this spell. You're going to prep it? Yeah. Well, I focused the breach. I prepped the spell. Yep, so you must cast that on your next turn. How much does it do? Uh, deal two, two damage. damage. If you have two or more prep spells, deal addition damage, which I will have. Two or more other prep spells. 
So you need a total of three spells prepped for that to work. Um, I only only have the two. That's okay. You'll still get the two damage. Okay. So now you're done. These are discarded. I'm done. Great. Okay. Uh, Ready to shuffle these? I'm five. not gonna give them to Melissa. Because <laughs> we'll be here all night. Easier to shuffle. <laughs> So if you've played Aeon's In before, uh, let us know in the chat how this game is different from that one. I mean, I've I played, played it. it. I played it once, but I don't remember it being very different from this. It's, so far, it's very similar. I don't remember the turn order deck looking like that. Yeah, and we're going to end up writing our you characters' go, names on you're here. Doing the most damage? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go so they're doing some damage. I'm going to cast some spells. Do it. I just want to point out, if you cast both those spells at the yeah. Doom Crawler, it'll be dead. All right, then I'm, that's what I'm going to do. Gonna do Turn order deck this. is a little different than the regular game, yeah. I'm going to cast this to the Doom Crawler. Also surprised we don't have healing. Cast, <laughs> That'll come. Cast this. Oh, yeah, I don't know, just right now. We haven't learned how, we're students. All right, All right. so he's dead. We just learned how to Bye, fight. Bye, Doom Crawler. I think we'd learn defense before we learn uh, offense. Doom Crawler. All right, that was my casting base. a huge humongous base. favor. It depends on what it is. Yep. He's not a trained monkey. He can't just do everything. All right, now I'm on my mm -hmm. main phase. Let's see what's in my hand here. All right. Variga or Varega. Variga. Hey, Hello. how's Hello, it going? Variga. You can pay two ether for charges in the regular game, but she can't do here. Okay. For charges. Yeah. Oh, oh like right. a 650. Something you can always grab onto. 650? Yeah, I'm going to okay. charge you 650. Um, I'll charge him 550. I'm gonna no, because he gets a discount. I would like to use these discount. three spells. I like it's only charging two. Nope, those are not spells. Those are just crystals. I mean, not not. I would like these to put out a spell so I can focus because I don't mm. have to focus again. If you want to put something on that, you need to focus that. Yeah. And I have three. Great. So you just lay those out. Yep, and you can focus that. So I can do it again like this. Mm-hmm. Getting closer! Yeah, and now you can put a spell in there. All right, I'm putting this one, the gravity node. Mm -hmm. And then this spark here in this open breach. Okay. Open breaches. And then this goes away. Up there, and I'm done. Why, why are you spending the mana to do the, or the whatever, the ether to do the, this one? Well, because I was trying to get it down. Because now it's like getting closer and closer to opening. You know what I'm saying? What? Like, she could have opened this one already if she had spent the mana, the but, ether on it. But only at three. You need four she to open. Yeah. Four. Your, yours got tuned down. Yeah, like I, know, I need four. It, the turn earlier, had she turned it, because she's turned oh, it right. twice. I was well, like, was there You eventually want them all open. Okay. You know, it just yeah. depends how you want to go I'm just trying it. to get this one down lower. Okay. Lack of abilities on your character boards. Yeah, okay, so yeah, right now it's just a big blank this. slate. Yep, we're going to start. I have a feeling after this is over, we're going to start making some decisions <laughs> Three, about what path we're going to go down. Four, five. All right, I'm done. What's the next turn? Uh, Ooh, the bad guy! Well, that's actually on our YouTube. Um, the whole bubbly pop full play is on YouTube. It's yeah, that's what I was going to suggest. I actually explain it in the YouTube video if you want to go check that out just go to our youtube channel and type in bubbly pop those. Yeah. and you can find the video and rewatch it again where i explain everything how to play yeah because believe me you don't want my help and i have Ask to repeat Joe. it i have to like repeat it many times because jesse just doesn't understand it's true i was very confused not single play though single play i don't know there's what a single, single play, play option there's like Is there really? play I think so. I think there's a way you play it by yourself. Or I don't. I don't know, know how, how to do that. that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, the but maybe you could. Not, maybe you yeah. could just read the book, search it know. on YouTube um, and see if you can find. Hey Heather, else. by the way. Hey Heather. Yeah. I missed Heather. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. I just noticed that. Hey I, Heather. I told Heather whenever she. Uh, Two damage to Gravehold, please. Oh no. Whenever she's feeling well and can can come by, we need to play some of that 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 quacks. The, the yes, I enjoy quacks. quacks Whenever you're if you're feeling well, definitely come and let's play. There's a single option. Quacks. I can't find a good tutorial. Hmm. I didn't even know you could play that by I yourself. I didn't know that either. Quack. 
Quacks of Fredlinburg. Okay, let's draw a new card for Which um, has nothing Maelstrom to do with ducks. <laughs> Just so everybody's clear. Quacks has nothing okay. to do with ducks. Oh. <laughs> Any player suffers two damage. Oh, no. I'm at eight. And what else I'm does at seven. Any player discards a gem, and then an assist card comes out. A gem? Yep, if you have a gem card in your hand. Oh, we I mean, all probably crystal? do. Yeah, mm -hmm. The ones that say gem at the bottom. Oh, gem oh, at the bottom. Gotcha. I have yep. nothing but crystals. Mm. So first, some player needs to suffer two damage. We'll, do, we'll go in order. This is a crack. I'll no, do it. It's like Whitney says, crack is whack. <laughs> two damage. Take okay, it. now a player discards a gem. Melissa, Melissa, that might be good for you since you've already gone. Yeah, I've, I've got nothing. But and now assist. Let's get a new assist card out. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> Desmodia's Assault. Desmodia drops down from above, her hands beginning to glow as power spreads along her arms. A burst of light escapes her, crashing into Maelstrom as it lets out a pain screech. Desmodia deals 10 damage to Maelstrom. 79. Ooh, that's much better. <laughs> I didn't know. Good work, good work guys. That was... <laughs> Who just did crack and took two damage? <laughs> <laughs> crack is whack. Crack is for poor people. Um, that's hashtag Whitney Houston. That's what she really did say. Um, okay, so we need to draw a new card for Maelstrom. Another card? No! Oh, the nemesis came up again? Oh, no, sorry. It was the attack. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I yeah. took the crack. Like, yeah, Let's see what happens. Oh, I wasn't ah! seeing the future. Crack is back. So two damage to Gravehold, please. Oh, We're at Lord. twenty. If it goes to zero, we lose. Oh. What was hey. that? Hey. Crack is whack. Crack is whack. <laughs> Thank you for those bits, puppy <laughs> tutors. So now we are gonna get a new card. <laughs> oh Lord. You just wanted it. You need to have it. Oh. Oh no, that's like eight hip points. Yeah, this is um, <laughs> like a, little a virus. mantle auger. It's game night this Friday. Yes, it is. It's a holiday. Yes, we are. It's the it's Good Friday. Friday. Oh yeah, the Good oh, Friday. So yeah, good. I, I could I could come early if you want. <laughs> yeah, I'll be I'll, I'll be, be here at like nine a.m. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> and we Full can just day. like just, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, oh, we no. usually we usually have one almost. Non-stop, even if there is a holiday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea. That's my first official day of uh, Easter break. So, so immediately cool. assist. So we do what it says immediately. So we'll do full day. We have to go to church to right. sing. All right. But after that. Mostly the full day. Malastar's like boom. an hour I have to be. Malastar stumbles from a cloud of debris, <gasps> coughing and covering his mouth. It's up to you now, he wheezes. This will help. Any player... Gains a gravity node from the supply and places it into their hand. Me or Joe, I think, would be good. You know, to spread them Cause, out. Because someone has to discard. You don't want one person. I have one. Oh, you I have, have one, one yeah. out already. I have one. Oh, I never Correct. bought one. I have one. Did you buy one? I bought one. Yes, yeah, so you need to get it. I'll take you don't it. have one. But I also only have one of these upgraded cards in my entire deck. My thought is that every time you play that, somebody is discarding. So we want that to spread out. I mean, I guess. You can have it. I got nothing. <laughs> nothing. If you really. But I already took a turn this time. I think it. Yeah. And you just volunteered to discard a card when you play yours, so. Then we're all discarding a yeah. card. It's fine. I like it. <laughs> so that. He is persistent and he will do one damage to Gravehold on every turn okay. after this. I don't this recall this assist two. deck in the original. Oh, uh, take know. that card into your hand. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, my yeah, bad. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Bobby Tutors. I didn't see you put that in the discard. I would have been like, what? King's favorite expansion. Apparently, I bought a promo pack of dice and bells. Is that the right one? Bell? Yep, bells for scoring. For Not sure yet, but I will find out. <laughs> I just, oh. I'm really, uh -oh. yeah. I really love Coimbra. It's definitely in my I would like to play top it. games of uh, I'm very curious, year. like, how could they expand that? Because it's pretty much a tight package already. There could definitely be I some opened it up live cards. on Facebook. It was sort of like when Geraldo Rivera opened up Al Capone's <laughs> vault. <laughs> I don't know if anyone here is old enough to remember that <laughs> remember in the that. chat, at least. I remember that. <laughs> oh that was like God, a big build-up. Yeah, was... a big build-up for a long time. It was live. It was going in. That's fine. Oh, uh, was it a dud? I never yes, saw that. Yes, it was that. a dud. There was nothing in there. It was like, yeah, it was like... Yeah. <laughs> Let's see wow. what... Okay, we've got Joe oh, taking a Joe's turn going. now. Joe's going now. 
<laughs> okay. What's the um, oh, man. strategy? What's the best one to? I think we should hurt that crust smasher. I think the other thing. Why? Well, it's, this one does two damage. This one only does one damage. But it's doing a damage to this place, which once both we... of them do it to that. Oh, oh, okay. I wasn't paying attention. I thought this was... one does two to that. This then, one does okay, one. Okay, the smasher, the, the smasher for sure. I'll do a point to the question. For some reason, I thought the smasher was hurting us. And Jesse has a, a big hit over there that he can do. What does that thing say underneath his name? He immediately assists. So we, that's how you got that bone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, everybody's remembering it apparently. Wow. Okay, we got we got some old people in the chat. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just I wasn't very Our culturally people. Our age people. Like, exposed yeah. as as a young person. I just I didn't like keep up with things in the media. Like yeah, big things would happen. Right big here. things yeah. would happen. I probably wouldn't know about it. She, I lived under a rock. Five. Wasn't that the nineties? What does so he have? Nineties, right? Yeah, and I probably Early lived under a rock. Three. What? Wait, I don't understand your question. How many? Maybe the how many years. damage does he do? Three. She's doing five, so that's eight. Yeah. So we can take this one out. They can take it out together, yeah. Okay. And so then I'll put this one here. Okay, sweet. And... Yeah, there's so many things I that I missed in the 90s. Unless it was wrestling or cartoons, then I probably You could open this breach, <laughs> or you could buy something. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll open that. That way it'll... No, it's open. Completely open. Okay. If you use all three, you open it. Okay, yeah. So flip it over. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then I'll put that down. Sweet. Yeah, nice. Gee, I wonder who's next. One of y'all. Yeah, one of us. One of us. One of us. Um, I'll go. Yeah, I don't have anything prepped, so. No, I mean, I just have the one thing. So we're dealing three damage. Let's kill that thing. Watch the smasher. Okay. Finally, smashed. that thing is gone. He's been smashed. And by the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, smash that like button. Yeah, <laughs> smash that heart. That's what they say, right? That's what they say. <laughs> First time I ever heard that was on PewDiePie. He was like, "Oh, wait. smash that like button. Let's see if we can smash it ten hey, thousand times." Hey, bro. Uh, hey, bro. How's it going, bro? Hey, not that hard. It's, What's it's, up, a, bro? it's a button. <laughs> Let's do another focus, I think. Can get me some cool stuff out here. Gosh, I just got the weirdest song in my head. Because I was doing that, ooh, got choco. <laughs> I was like, I no. Three crystals mm -hmm. to focus this. Three aether? I mean, three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, crystals. Huh? Crystals Correct. provide aether. Yep. <laughs> Let's do this one. Let's do this into the open breach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, if only I had one more. I'm going to hold on to this, I guess. Hooked on a feeling. Do, 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 do. I'm high on believing. Do, 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 do. That Maelstrom's going down. That punk. You can go over to Melissa Sings on Twitch <laughs> and subscribe. Terrible. <laughs> okay. Drive You're to, to, to five. To Melissa Sings and Twitch. <laughs> yeah. okay. We like to spread the over. love. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and prep two spells, two of my lovely sparks, because that's all I have. And then I've got three crystals here. I'm going to lay those down. Ooh, you could get this fancy uh, thing about Bob like I have, since you might have an ability to have three out. Did you have two um, open? Um, um, no. Let's do it with three. I'm going to get this. Oh, more, more bind power. Ah, I see, I see. Then these are going to go here, and that will be the end of my turn. And I'm going to flip Ooh, these over. Oh, now we got a shovel. Yes, we do. Maelstrom, it keeps making me think of that soup. Minestrone? Minestrone. <laughs> We're here in playing Aeon Zing Legacy fighting Minestrone, the most <laughs> evil BA soup you ever fought. <laughs> He's using vegetable attacks and broth. <laughs> I can get by that thing. 
<laughs> Haven't you? Did you play um? What's that video game? Overcooked. Overcooked. Oh. <laughs> With the meatballs coming down. I played that. That's the only time I've ever played it successfully. Savage. Yeah. Oh, I'm not Oh, I'm taking out that arm. If you want to go first, I mean, y'all both have stuff. Which, which, um. Oh. Well, we both have the same exact stuff, so. Yeah, so it might be better for you. Can you can you do one attack on one and one on the other? Because if you do four to him. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. That way, when I do the four, I can do the, the other four. Or mm -hmm. just keep the spark. Like don't don't yeah, don't, yeah, don't cast is, the spark. Because this oh, isn't an open. Yeah. yeah, this isn't yeah. an open. Because we don't this need I to focus have on him. To yeah. At least that's what so they It prevents me from doing over damage. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So I'll do that. Um, so you're gonna so cast the I'll gravity note. And so cast another the player node. discards a card in hand. So whoever wants to do. Who it. wants to discard any a card? So could she could. Yeah. Any player discards a card in hand. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'll discard a card. Okay. In hand. So I'll discard this gem. Great. And four damage to the big dude. Nice. Okay. And then I'm keeping the sparks. So that's done with the casting phase. Now on my main phase, I still have three crystals. You could open your breach. I am. Boom. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I have been working on it for just a... Just you know, hot minute. You should really keep your mind on your own breach. <laughs> keep your mind on your own breaches. Oh, <laughs> All right, and then I draw a five. Great. One, two, three, four, five. I'll go and kill him, I guess. Okay. That makes sense. So oh, you can resisting. use it, so you might use yours on something else. Uh, I'll hold on to my spark. Makes sense the same way. I steal four damage to him. I, uh, does he anyone did. want to discard something, by the way? Um, I haven't even looked at my cards. I'll discard it. I I'm not discard. really. Okay. Well, if I cast mine, I have to. Yeah, you're, the thing is, yours are in open breaches, so you can keep them here until another yeah. guy comes out. I can discard one of mine if someone doesn't want to discard things. I don't want to discard. All right, I'll discard one of my gems. Cool, thank you. Because that'll allow me to do some stuff. Um... Let's spend three crystals. Is that what I want to do? Three or two? Let's do. Uh, let's spend two. Focus this one. Put that there. And then, if I have two spells prepped, it gets an additional one ether. So I have four ether. Uh, and I'll grab another incinerating fist, I suppose. Okay, that goes directly that goes into there. Yeah, yep. let's do this. Sweet. Next turn. Okay, figured out the new dice the allow you to increase your guards, coins, VPs, or movement by paying the resources on that die. The bells are the down, are downward. a downwards moving target on the track. Exceed the bells and you can score points. Nice little expansion for Coimbra, but no new cards. Uh, just a little something else. All right. Yeah. Uh, there's no ongoing oh, cards yeah. for Maelstrom, so we're just gonna draw a new one. What's oh, a power? Ooh. And to discard this, you need to spend six aether. Yeah. Ooh. Unleash. Yeah, if it if it pops, it's gonna unleash, which do, does three damage to Gravehold, and then the player with the most open breaches suffers one damage. So not, two power go on there. What happens if there's a tie? We decide. Oh, okay. So who is buying power? <laughs> I just discarded one of mine for you, yeah. so I'm limited. I can get rid of it. <laughs> Joe said he can get rid of it. Oh, oh cool. I mean, I'll, I'll be the one that takes it. I got you for the gravity node. All right, well, uh, it's my turn, but I mean, these two sparks, I don't really want to spend them. There's no dudes to fight, so I guess I'll just Unless leave them hit. there. Unless you hit Maelstrom. You can hit Maelstrom. I know, but they told us not to do that. Well, you say not to do it, just said focus on the other thing. Would y'all like me to just spend them on there? I'd keep if them for the minute because... Do you have something else to prep? That's such a small percentage of the points to him. 
Do yeah. yeah. you have something to replace the sparks? May as well. Yeah, I have like, one thing. Well, then spin one. one. Spin one to replace the one. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna cast this spark. No reason, just discard what's in your hand. Yeah. Ha ha. Ha ha. First blood. The royal treatment. And then I'm going to, for my turn, I'm gonna prep oh, a gravity box. node. That's a nice box. I know what I want for an anniversary gift. Felt line for a dice tray. Ooh. I'll take it. Um, <laughs> I want to watch my gift. My gift. Fist. Gift for what? Anniversary. Oh. <laughs> What's my gift? No, you have to tell me. <laughs> I saw something. I want. Nemesis turn. See, I'm easy. <laughs> so we'll remove one of these and draw a new card. A minion. Merciless Titan has 10 hit points. Merciless. Oh, the no, player I'm with scared. the lowest life Have suffers mercy. one damage. So he just keeps hitting whoever is doing the worst. Wow, well, which is? You. Me. Oh. Right now, he, he doesn't do anything right now. <laughs> just on, on, the, on the guy's turn, that's what's gonna happen. It's bad, it's bad. All right, so we're done with his turn. Yes. Now it's Joe's turn. Joe's turn. Hit that minion. Okay, so I hit cast these. And I can oh, we're going to discard. I'll discard if you can. Because you said you're going to be able to get rid of this? Yeah, I have six, even if I discard one. Oh. Snap! So, well, Joe coming good. out like a boss. What? He's got that buying power. All right, so he hit for six. five. Oh. Six damage, uh, five Four, damage. I mean five, yeah. Yeah, five damage. He's down to half. Nice. And then I have one, two, three, nice. four, five, six. Okay, so you are spending six aether so to discard the acid fog. Yes. Try off camera, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they're there. Take our word for it. And. You're going to decide what order to put that stuff in your discard and then draw up to five. Meanwhile, I'll shuffle this. Mm. Oh. So how's it going so far? How do we think we're doing? I, I wish mean, I could count the cards. Only down to 78. Mm. But I wish I could count the cards on his thing to see, like... You may not. No. <laughs> to see, like, how we're doing. I kind of keep looking at the, the stacks, like, hey, it's getting lower. Green or blue? Well, I have one spark I can hit him for right now. If I go right now. Can you go ahead? Yeah, so, I mean, nothing, I'll, I guess. Least I'll hit him for one spark. So some of you may not have been in the room when we said you can help us potentially name our characters. If you have a suggestion for what some of these people should be named, let us know in the chat. We will take those into consideration when we name them. Well, the big right. armored guy with a big beard and looks like he has some belt straps hanging from him and he has a, he works for the police or something. And when do Sparking we him? Yep. Oh, I get it, he's breaching. With his oh, yeah. thing. He also has a championship belt. <laughs> All right. Um, so whatever name comes to mind for that. I'm going to prep these two spells. And then um, focus okay. this so that it gets closer. Great. Since I can't buy anything. What does this do? Well, you could buy this. This lets you gain two Aether, and if you have two or more prep spells, gain an additional Aether. Oh, I could buy. No, I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna prep. I, I need this to. Open. Okay. Okay. Now these all flip and redraw. Yep. Joe, it's up to you. Save the world. <laughs> He's got nothing. <laughs> He saved the world last turn. He That's like true. did an epic yeah. turn. Yeah. I, 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 I got the fire. I got the fire. Come oh, on, we come can on. see what spell we have. It's no question. Ooh. What you thinking, Joe? So right now, whatever's on top of um, this, it takes three to open. To go up. Mm -hmm. Cool. We made a So I have four. So I'll take a incendiary fist. Incinerating fist. Goes right into your discard. And I'll put this 
prepping a spark for later, in case he wants to make some gumbo. Mm. All right. Can you throw in those sausage and crab and definitely you. And Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and cast my gravity node, which will kill this dude. Someone just needs to discard. Oh, thank the Lord, I got baby it. Jesus. Discarding a crystal. Merciless Titan is gone. You saved the world. <laughs> I'm gonna save the spark for later. Because I don't need to do that right now. Um now she needs space. I have six aether in hand. Oh, so I was gonna buy the big thing. I was gonna buy this ethereal hand. Oh. So I'm gonna go ahead and play I don't even these know if I'm a tank six. Yet. It's just kind of. Nope. We haven't decided what we are. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and buy it this like ethereal hand. <laughs> help somebody else draw cards. Since we're all having to discard yes. cards. I right? never got the six, but I definitely back. wanted to do that. I'm gonna put these in a specific order. Oh yeah, that's the order I want. And that's it for me. All right, draw it up. Flip these over. It's not good that I'm like constantly shuffling this deck. I almost shuffled this right. one. Oh, the bad guy. All right, well, well he has no out, cards so out, okay, so he's just gonna good. draw a new one. Oh, good. Oh, it's a unleash twice. Oh. So he's gonna do six damage here. We're going down to fourteen points. Oh. oh That's why we have to do damage to him. <laughs> the player with the fewest opened breaches. That's who? All of us? All of us two. have two. So we get to decide. Suffers two damage. Well, not you. You only have six. You're the least. Looks I like have the most. the most. So <laughs> I'll take two. And then an assist. Ooh, okay. That's so this was in flame, if you're curious. Mm -hmm. Guess who's back? Guess Zaxos who's back. arrives. Back, back, back again, again, Zaxos again. appears beside you, one hand clutching his wounded side. I can fix this, he yells. He lashes solid black energy from his shadow across Maelstrom's shell. Shell. Doubled over with pain, Zaxos stumbles through a breach and vanishes from battle. Zaxos deals 10 damage to Maelstrom. Mm. Very nice, Zaxos. That assist deck is getting smaller. <laughs> I think we're supposed to fill in some blanks on this guy. All right. Uh, so that was all for his turn. All right. Jesse. Uh, Zaxos is a wild man. Yeah. yeah. If you have a place to fill in, you hit him and. Um, I actually may as well hold on to them. Uh, actually, this one I can't. Yeah, so you have Oh, you so have the one. fewest open breaches then. Oh. Oh, oh so you yeah, should have taken right. the two. So yeah. I'm going to have to take this back. And I'll mm -hmm. take two. So now I draw four. Uh, deal one damage to Maelstrom for that. Big bully. That big old punk. He's at 67. That punk. Um, you spend three crystals to open this. Okay. I really prep something to it, That's considering it. fist. He's discarding, so he is done. Yeah. I wonder who this is gonna be. The nemesis. All right, do your worst. Oh, Desmodius Flare. Immediately <laughs> assist. Oh, okay. Desmodius Plan. The next time you see Desmodia, she is fully glowing. A sparkling pattern seems to lift off her skin, lighting the rubble around her. Her body is encased in swirling energy as she lifts off the ground. Keep holding, apprentices. My attack is nearly ready. Just a few moments longer. Bye -bye. All right, see you next time, BJ. Bye, BJ. Now draw a new nemesis card no. and resolve it. And we're gonna put four tokens on here. So it's doing unleash again and somebody's taking four damage. So first unleash, that's three more damage to here. 
We're down to 13. Any player suffers four damage. Who has the most? It's me. So I'll take it. Ruin. That's what that's called. You've been ruined. So in four turns, Desdemonia is going Desmodia is gonna do 40 damage to Maelstrom. Oh. So if we can fill in that gap and do 27 to him, we're good. <laughs> hey, I'm... There are still a couple more cards left in the assist deck as well. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to hit him for three because there's no one else to hit. And I need, I need, well, I need at least one space. So. Mm -hmm. One of you? Who wants to go? I'll go if you don't have anything planned. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Um. You gonna cast any spells? See, I was, I was saying, but I could keep these and actually open this this turn, and then have all three out to then use it next time. Okay. To make a bigger hit. Yeah. If you if you got another spell, you can put up there. Yeah. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna not cast. I'm gonna open this with three. She can do that because those are both opened breaches. So there's three here. Mm -hmm. So I open this, I put this node there. Great. And then I'm gonna keep this crystal for later. Okay, now I just wanna point out, you could play it and just be like, I have one Aether that doesn't get spent. Or you can keep holding on to it. I'll keep holding them just, just in case I need a, you, know, you need a discard or something. Okay, mm -hmm. so you're gonna draw back up. Yep. And we're going to move on to the next player, which is Joe. There we go. You want to cast? Um, okay, I'll do that. Just. Okay. 66 hit points for Maelstrom. Nice. Almost there. Woo. And so I'll get the, that one. Branching Radite. And I'll put these, cast, print these. Okay, great. He's discarding and he's drawing back up. Cool, cool. All right, who's going? Uh, I'll go. Well, I mean, if you want me to go because you want to save those up because you think something worse right. is coming. Go, go for it. All right, I'm going to um, take this then. I'm going to save this just in case. So I'm going to use these three crystals um, to focus this breach. And that means I can prep a spell there. So I'll prep a spark there, and I'll prep an incinerating fist here. Then that's going to end my turn. And I'm gonna draw back up. It's either gonna be two nemesis or you. It's me. And let's just go oh, back no, there. Oh, nemesis. sorry. <laughs> All righty. Well, cast nice. phase first. Let's uh, let's do th three. Yeah, you know what? Let's hold off. Let's just do one damage to the old uh, big guy. Okay, one damage to Maelstrom, bringing him down to sixty-five, or basically. 25. Mm hmm. And prep this. And we're going to play. Breaching Radite, which will give me a three to open this. I'll put this on there. Um, you know what? Let's just play these two. You can actually buy a yeah, Fire Shocker if you want. I feel like it would fill my deck up with things I don't want. Okay. Mm. So that's that. So he played two crystals. He had two aether, but he just didn't spend them. Yeah. I wish there was a way to get rid of cards. There will be later, I'm sure. Just not right now. No. Nemesis. Nemesis. So first this gets taken off. All right. And then we're going to flip a card. Temple Cutter. Oh. Immediately an assist. His 11 hit points. Okay, that could be good. I can deal 10. 
Miss Inferno. Ooh. You watch fire streak above your head. You follow the smoky trail back to Mist, perched atop a crumbling building, throwing flame as fast as she can. We've done all we can. Help Desmodia finish off Maelstrom, she commands. Mist deals 15 damage to Maelstrom. Oh, nice. So he goes down five and then ten more, so... He's down to 50. Oh, we got this. So if, if we let Desmodia do 40 damage, we just need to do 10 more. Which we, yeah, between we got, us all, yeah, is we got, way beyond that. But we gotta take care of this dude, because any player suffers, suffers two, two damage, damage and discards a card. Yeah, so we've gotta take care of that guy. Alright, so now, Nemesis' turn. So first we're gonna remove one of these. Then the Temple Cutter is gonna activate. Any player suffers two damage and discards a card. So it needs to be either Joe or Melissa. I'll do it. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Joe. We gotta take care of him. And he'll draw a card. Shockwave. Immediately assist. That's good. Yeah. The rest or of it has been. The rest of it's not. Brahma's rally. This is our last stand, Brahma cries out. We need to hold out just a little longer. We can maelstrom enough so that Desmodia can deliver the final blow. Your mentor glows for a moment and fades. Suddenly your wounds mend on their own. Any player gains two life. Yeah, mm -hmm. both have four. Yep, one of us. Gobble, 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 gobble. Jesse, you want it? I'll take it. So I'm going from four to six. six. So now read. Yeah, so this has got a power three. When this activates, each player suffers six damage. Oh my. Mm. Well. Yeah, so it's really important when Desmodia's attack goes off that we have, that he'll, he'll die. So we need to do 10 damage before that attack goes off. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I, I could do eight. I can do turn. 10, so. Yeah, and I can do five. Oh, we also have so. this other person. Yeah, we've got to kill yeah. that dude too. Well, he's got five, I've got five. That's 10 more over here, yeah, so yeah. I mean, I okay. think we're, we're okay. good. We're good. All right, shuffle those cards good now. I'm scared. You're scared? Nah, don't be scared. I think we've got it. Unless, like... Hold on to your breeches. One of the cards come out and says, like, take out all focus spells. <laughs> That's Sorry. what happened to us a lot in the <laughs> game I played. It's got all spells focused. And be like, okay, maybe not. I mean, this is the first one. I wouldn't think they would be that hard on us. Right, right. That would be rough. Hmm. Nemesis. Well, we're facing the find out. <sighs> this gets removed. Next, the Temple Cutter attacks. Any player suffers two damage and discards a card in hand. You got one you can- I'll do it. Oh, Melissa could spare. But I'm gonna take the bulk of, th that other thing goes off too, I'll huh? do it. No. Everybody takes damage yeah. for this. Let's leave her above six. Okay. <laughs> Just right. in case. So if that thing goes off, then she'll be the last one. And but... you've discarded a card? Yes. All right, then this just removes one of these. Each player. Oh, Each oh, player, just, oh yeah. no, no, no! It just removes one. It's yeah. not going to do that yeah, to us. It's not going to do that okay. now. Oh, okay. Uh, this, this, <laughs> and we draw a new card for him. You thought it was now? Yeah, I thought it was right now. No, 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 no. He'd be taking forty damage. We would be now. dead. Yeah. Yeah. So this is oh. Bladius, a minion with forty damage, forty oh. hit points. I don't think we're supposed to kill him. <laughs> I don't have even enough of these to put out for. Play with the fewest. Well, just do Open the opposite. Breaches, suffers two damage. Every damage we put on him, we'll just throw it on him. Okay, because I don't have enough for that. Right. So, so immediately the, the player with the fewest open breaches. Just because he's a unique thing. Oh, he's got like little ninja stars. Suffers two damage. How many breaches does everybody have open? I have, I have two. all three. I have all three. I have two as well. So um, it's going to be either you or me. I'll do it. Two, two damage. Player with the fewest... Oh, that's persistent. Oh, wow. Yeah. So that's a one-time effect right now, and then on the next time... Just one, keep doing it. One of us is going to have to suffer two more damage. Unless we win. Right. Well, I'm opening up my breach now. <laughs> yeah. Um, I can go... Yeah, that way one of the sparks for that one of you have can do the other thing. So, I'll discard a card of my hand. 
to deal four damage plus six damage to Mr. Man over there. Yeah, that would be better if another nemesis came up, wouldn't it? Yeah, because then... Yeah. Okay, ten damage to big guy. Because, I mean, if, she, if another nemesis came out and she triggers, then she right, kills right, him. Right, right, right. Of course. Another um, nemesis? Like, if another oh, nemesis card comes out, she she's going to yeah. trigger, and then Well, no, dead. no. This is going to come off. And yeah. then the next time... Oh, trigger. really? Yeah. If there's no tokens on there to remove, it triggers. it triggers. Oh, my. So we got to go through this whole round before that happens. Huh? Yep. Hmm. But okay. I, I still well, think that's the best move. Sure, sure. The rest of you could take care. What about your other, your spark? Put the spark on that. I just, I just, that. I just, I oh, you just put that there. Okay, sorry. Oh. Yep, I just put that down, uh, and that's that. Great. All right, let's see. Who's going now? All right, I'll yes. go. She can do more damage. All right, so I have the three. So if two or more are prep spells, still one additional damage, so it's going to be three. And I will discard this. Mm hmm. So that's make seven. This four. So yeah, so it's seven, eight. So you're doing eight damage to this guy? Yeah, that would be, yeah, eight to that one. Yeah. Because someone could fill in the gaps and yeah. the other stuff. He has three hit points left. One there. Okay. And then I'm going to prep this spark. And I have three. So. If you don't want anything, I mean. I'll just say. Chances of you get to the other one. I don't know. Oh. But who knows what it's going to say at the end of the thing? It might be like, choose some cards to permanently keep in your deck. I mean, who knows what it's going to say? So. I'll just. I'll get one of these. Okay. Good idea. That goes there. This goes here. Duh. Great. Nemesis. Mm. So first, Desmodia is really getting close to activating. Temple Cutter. Any player suffers two damage and discards a card in hand. Alyssa, I think it needs to yeah. be you. Yeah. So I discard this and lose two. Okay. And now this one is going to remove one. And then Bladius. The player with the fewest open breaches suffers two damage. This time it'll be me. <clears throat> and a new card. Oh, what's that? Unleash. Expunge. Three more damage to Gravehold, please. So down to ten. People was that two are... numbers so far? Yeah, that was two. Yeah. The okay. people are not the only one card left. Yep. killing back. Alright. Two. My con. So first I'll do three damage with this incinerating fist to the temple cutter. And he's gone. Nice. Nice little damage to the big ball. <laughs> yeah, because I don't think we're gonna hit this for 40. So I'll do two more damage. To, to this guy. Yes, why not? Let him know his boss. Yeah. Then I will. Um, who hasn't gone yet? Joe. Joe, draw two cards. Nice. Cool, cool. And then I will prep a gravity node. And I have four Aether here. This card. Or um, you can get one of these. That yeah, I'll take this one. Put these in here. And draw back up. Joe. Joe. Hello, hey, Jesse. Hey, okay. Jesse. But if anybody needs someone to discard a card, yeah, I got I you. So, so yeah. now it's <laughs> oh, that's, to that's a, that beginner. Is it worth doing remember. damage to? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. I'll discard may as well a card. Just the big ball Basically, as soon as they have a turn again, Desmodia is going to activate. Yeah. Uh, so that doesn't. 
Dr. John, I'll, I always think back on that um, wire work right. I saw you well, make of that heart. Another, Gosh, I have one. Another five. I've always I'll wanted you to make you. like a heart for us for heart work games of those, that wire heart. <laughs> yeah, we have background shelves. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll pick up the... Ethereal hand? Yeah. And I'll print that. Just in case. Great. <coughs> Aww. <laughs> what is it? Uh, David, he made this wire heart on one of his streams, and it just always comes to mind when I think right. of like our heart board Wonder. games. It's like, oh, okay. I've always wanted to make us one. Talk business. Oh yeah. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll buy it. Yeah, we'll 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 compensate you for your work. We don't want to <laughs> <laughs> not to be compensated for your for your art. Yeah, I definitely can DM us, work something out. The Nemesis. <gasps> All right, power four. This is going to activate right now. Assist. <gasps> Desmodia's Bombardment. Desmodia continues to rise in the air, radiating so brightly it's difficult to look at her. You did well buying us time. Now I can end this. Take care of Gravehold. The cavern walls are rocked to their core as Desmodia releases all of her stored energy at Maelstrom. Desmodia deals 40 damage to Maelstrom. Almost like it was planned. Almost like it. <laughs> so that ends the game immediately, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. The game ends when any of the following conditions are met. The nemesis has zero life. That's true. When the game ends, resolve the last card in the assist deck if able. We already did that. Then continue the reading the front of, front of legacy card L03. At the end of your game versus Maelstrom, if you won, read the back of this card. If you lost, read the front of card L04. So here you go, Jesse. No. Oh. Thank you, Magrady. <laughs> Chapter 1 Legacy Card. You watch from the edge of the caverns as Desmodia faces off against Maelstrom. One bright light against the terrible darkness. Luckily, you've managed to do the impossible. Hold off Maelstrom's minions long enough to safely evacuate Gravehold. The survivors huddle behind you, terrified, as Desmodia erupts before them. The entire cavern shakes and collapses. Towers fall and buildings crash down upon Maelstrom, burying it underneath a mountain of rubble. Your home, Gravehold, is no more. At least you led many of its citizens to safety. Read the back of card L04. <laughs> I think it's DC, if I'm not mistaken. Gravehold is gone. They should both work. But... Lost beneath the rubble, along with your friends, teachers, there. Desmodia, and most of the other mages. You recognize Mist and Malastar among the survivors, tending to the wounded. Zaxos is among them, his eyes hollow. This is your fault! Mist screams at him, tears in her eyes. Zaxos backs away slowly. I didn't mean to. I was only trying to protect us. His words become unclear as a dark breach opens behind him. Close it, Zaxos, Brahma shouts. I beg you. Zaxos vanishes into the void, his last words echoing in the tunnel. I'm sorry. Read the front of L05. <clears throat> Switching from fronts to backs. <laughs> It takes a true ordeal to access your inner power, Ram explains. While others search for survivors, you will train with me. Only then will you be able to serve the survivors of Gravehold. Follow the end of game instructions on page 20 of the rule book. Each player finds the card that matches their mage from the legacy deck cards L06 to L13. Banish the others. Open insight one. Okay, let's do one thing at a time. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. One thing at a time. <laughs> All, All right, right, first is 
follow the end of game instructions on page 20. Return to the supply all the cards in your deck that cost more than zero aether, placing them in their corresponding piles. Hmm. There was all that stuff. <laughs> so basically the cards that all say S at the bottom, maintain those. How is that only three of the whole time? <clears throat> and then we'll reset our starting hands and our starting decks so they re so they match the um your player board. Reset all your breaches back to their starting positions. We're gonna pack this game up so we don't have to really do all of this. But everything's gonna be back to the way it was before. Okay, we did that. Now each player finds a card that matches their mage from the legacy cards L06 to L13. Uh, reset. Mm -hmm. So here's your dude. The period at the end. Here's my lady. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Here's yours. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, you got it! And Woo! here. <laughs> here is yours, Melissa. Oh, thank you. The rest of these are getting banished. I'll handle that in a minute. Open insight one. We still need names. Someone suggested gumbo with one of the people. Yep. Yours shall be gumbo. I'm gumbo. I shall be etouffee. You will be coffee pies. <laughs> You'll be jambalaya. <laughs> We're all gonna be southern cuisines. <laughs> we will make everyone um, hungry as they watch us. That's what I was saying now. <laughs> now I want. What time is the jambalaya shop close? Yeah. Mm. You may have already done this, but I find with legacy games that taking a picture helps uh, setting it back up. Okay, cool. Yeah, mm. we're we're fortunate that we have basically a whole video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, we never check it for that purpose. We have the video. Why are these here? They should go here. I couldn't reach. Oh. oh. Each player chooses one of the starter card effects and adds it to their card. Oh. So there's different effects here. They're... Um, spells that go on your player card. So I have my person here. I will choose either a spell or a gem to put right here on chapter one. And then place the starting hand sticker over the starting hand listed on your player mat and choose a name for your starter card and write it on the card and on the new blank space. Banish a crystal from your starting hand. Okay, so the options are deal one damage, gain an aether that can only be used to gain a spell. Deal one damage, if this damage is a minion, deal one additional damage. Deal one damage, if your discard pile contains four or more other cards, deal two additional damage. Focus any player's breach. Gain an aether and any ally may discard a card in hand and then draw a card. Gain two Aether that can only be used to gain a gem. Gain an Aether if you have three or more open breaches, gain a life. Gain one Aether, you may cast one of your prep spells that cost four or less. Whoa. Ooh, I like that one. <laughs> so each of us is gonna take one of these, and once you've done so, you get to name this spell. This, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, this card. It's either gonna be a spell or a gem. You're gonna put the name here, and then you're going to have a new starting hand. The name is going to go right there, and you're going to put the sticker sticker over this. Oh, okay, gotcha. This is going to be in your starting hand. Yeah. So we can make that decision in a second. We're also going to all lose one crystal, so everybody can give me one crystal right now. I'll put it in the banish pile. <gasps> These crystals have been banished. Well, they're going to be replaced with something really good. Yep. Read the back of this card. 
Banish the Maelstrom Nemesis Mat. The Nemesis deck and the assist cards. We'll do that off camera. We never did find out what the last one was. Unleash four times. That would have killed the city? That would yeah, have yeah, killed the that city. That would have killed the city. Oh, nice. Well, the city got killed anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Open stop 1D deck. This deck contains your supply upgrades. Replace two supply piles in the current supply with upgrade supply piles of the same types. So there are three gems, two relics, and four spells in the supply. Banish the cards you do not choose and the ones you remove from the supply. Ooh. When you're ready to start chapter two, read the front of L14. Mm. So the new possible cards are Crumbling Compound, this is a gem. Gain two Aether, you may discard a gem in your hand if you do gain an additional two Aether. Mm -hmm. Geophage, gain an Aether, you may destroy a gem in hand. Mm -hmm. uh, no. no thanks. No. <laughs> Destroying means it goes out of the game. Completely out of the game. It'll thin your deck though. A gem, it, yeah, you can get rid of your crystals that way. Yeah. Bre breach Flare. Deal two damage. Focus any player's number three breach. Not bad. Bending Beam. Deal two damage. If this spell was cast from an opened three breach, deal three additional damage. So those are our options. Um, I think it might be best if we make all those decisions. Off camera because it's probably it's boring to sit here and let, let us just yeah. think about it. Let's we can wrap them I... up on the uh, yeah. at the beginning of the next one. Yeah, everybody so has when... an opinion in the chat like, oh, I think you should go with that one. Then we'll take it into consideration. Well, I personally <laughs> like destroying the cards. I mean, yeah. I think that's a good idea. So next time on the I Heart Board Games, there. which is actually not next time, it will be Chapter Two, Among the Ruins. This will be next Monday. We'll be playing this. I wonder what ruins they could be talking about. Oh, the, oh, oh. <laughs> I think I have an idea. Oh, yeah. So we will be open. We'll open this one live on camera next week mm -hmm. so you guys can see what it is at the same time we do. Should be fun. And we'll go along everything okay. with you guys here. So anybody have some ideas for these names? I know we have Gumbo over here with all his armor and, yeah. and awesomeness. We got, got Gum Gumbo. Got Gumbo. I, I think was... I might decide once I've kind of figured out which one of these cards I want to take. Oh, no, no, Shari. Uh, uh, Gumbo. <laughs> I was thinking of Rose because you mentioned it because I have a rose on my shirt and I was wearing it for this oh, game. Oh, like Rose so. Tyler? <laughs> Hey. Hey. Yeah, it does remind me of the last Airbender as yeah, well. So I think I might this make, is a lady, so I gotta think about it. I think I might name mine Rose. I think it's gonna have to be Rose. So uh, definitely come back, yeah. you guys, on Wednesday. We have a giveaway on Wednesday yes. for CV Lizations. That is a civilization building game about building your CV, your curriculum vitae. Mm -hmm. um, it's a really cool game, and you can win a copy if you live in the continental United States. So or, be here for that giveaway. Or Ohio, Canada. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on Saturday, we have a double header for you. We will be playing Evolution and Evolution the Beginning. <gasps> so we'll play both of them and see what is the difference. And then next Monday, we'll be back again with um, Aeon's End Part 2. Chapitre 2, if you will. Dang it, I live in La La Land. <laughs> That's where we live, too. Wait, what does that mean? Oh, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, you're not eligible if you live in La La Land. Um, so we always have fun having you guys here with us. Uh, but one of the things we love to do around here is spread the board game love. Spread yeah. that love. Uh, so we love to raid over to our favorite channels, or sometimes even channels we've never even seen before, just so everybody can help each other out here on Twitch and have a fun time and... You can find out about great um, P 
people on Twitch other than us. Yeah. I mean, we're obviously the best. <laughs> um, so, Jesse, who are we going to go see today? We're going over to Gen Con TV because the bros, Murph over there, are taking on Gloomhaven, oh, Gloomhaven. which we know Gloomhaven quite well. We only played it 44 times. Uh, yeah. Um, so, but, so yeah, we need to go uh, help them out, help them win. It looks like they're in a tight spot over here. Yeah, so they're going to need some help. help. Well, you guys, if you're still with us and you raid over there with us, make sure you spam those heart emotes. Yep. And make them so annoyed emotes. by all those, and those emotes. And the new emotes, the new little meeples. Yep. But they're a little happy let them see. Let little them know that Heartboard Games <laughs> sent you over there. We love the Brothers yep. Murph, so make sure you do that. Yep, and Gen Con TV. Yeah. That's actually where we're going. So yes. we'll see you over there at Gen Con TV. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. Let me hit the right button. Bye-bye. <laughs>